So, you want to make your Terraria experience unplayable. I don't know why, you pay $10 for this game after all, but hey, I won't judge. In this video I'll go over 6 steps that will make your game progressively more unplayable. First off, 1. Difficulty. Obviously the first thing you want to do to make Terraria unplayable is to play on a difficulty way harder than you're used to. The hardest difficulty in vanilla Terraria is said to be 1HP Hardcore Master Mode for the Worthy, which I'm pretty sure no one has ever beat. However, 1HP Hardcore is not the most unplayable experience. You see, when you fail on Hardcore, at least you get to throw your turret out the window and start from a clean slate. Meanwhile, Medium Core forces you to live and bear with your turret, no matter how you feel. Die? Gotta get all your items again, and the world's in hard mode too. Oops. For even better results, press Alt F4 every time you die so your items are always deleted, 100% of the time. 2. Controls Of course, the most resilient and skillful players can cope with this level of difficulty. Next thing to do is to screw with your controls. Bind left and right click differently. Give yourself the confuse debuff permanently. Unbind your quick heal, mana, mount, and hook keys so you have to put them in your hotbar, taking up slots. Give yourself a real backwards brain bicycle moment here, that's all I gotta say. For better results, change around all your controls early and often. 3. Graphics This is when it really gets off the rails. Obviously, we're here to hinder the senses. First, turn sound off. Then, set your monitor to 800x600, the lowest possible resolution in Terraria. Then, set zoom and the UI scale to the highest possible. This essentially makes you blind and deaf. You can also set your lighting to trippy if you want to screw with that as well. Now that we've crapified the image, we can move on to the sequence of images i.e. the frame rate. If you turn frame skip off, Terraria's tick rate will come tied to the frame rate, so the game will only run at full speed at 60 frames per second. This means with frame rate caps, we can make the game even more unplayable. We can set the frame rate to 50 frames per second, almost full speed, meaning we can play the game but it feels just slightly off, like playing Sonic on a PAL system. We can also set the frame rate to 30 frames per second, which is what I've done, meaning everything is twice as slow, which is of course very annoying. This is about the slowest you can push the game and still make it smooth enough to suffer in. If you are a true masochist, you can finish the game in a frame rate like 10 frames per second. At this speed, not only is the game a PowerPoint presentation, things take forever. The fastest gun in the game, the chain gun, which normally shoots at 15 shots per second, is slow to just 2.5 at this speed. It's god awful. 4. Latency Of course, there's two types of lag. We just dabbled with frame rate lag in a previous session, so let's use the other lag, server lag. Not only is your game a PowerPoint, you don't know if a block you broke actually breaks. Chests and crafting are ass slow, and god forbid if you randomly disconnect while grinding or in a boss fight. A very effective way to get lag like this is to connect to an American server using a VPN tunnel through a country in Asia or Australia, or vice versa. If you ever try to connect to an American server while you're in Australia, China, or Japan, you get what I mean. 5. Input Method We are now moving from the digital world to the physical. So far we've used the tried and true input method, the keyboard and mouse. The truth is though, Terraria doesn't actually need this many buttons to work. If you have 6 buttons for A, S, D, Escape, L, M, B, and R, M, B, and a way to move the cursor, you can basically play the entire game just fine. Depending on what you consider a cursor, you can get real wild. Technically speaking, this calculator is overqualified to play Terraria on, if you could somehow wire it to a computer. Look at all these buttons just ready to play Terraria! I dare someone to beat the game using this. The sky's the limit, and you guys are probably way more creative than me. 6. Ambience. We now move to making you, the physical incarnation, as uncomfortable as possible. Move to Arizona in the summer and turn the AC off. Open the blinds and let the beautiful Arizonan sun turn you into beef jerky. It truly is that simple. On the opposite end, you can move to Siberia in the winter. Cold is easier to mitigate with warm clothing, but since your fingers get numb when they are cold, that makes the game even harder, especially when you're trying to beat the twins using this as a control mechanism. An added bonus about playing from Siberia is that your ping to an American server is going to be garbage as well. And that's it. That's the most I could think of in regards to making your experience as bad as possible. Of course, I am just one of many children on the internet, and I'm sure my comment section is more imaginative than me. Have fun while you're at it. If you enjoyed, I recommend subscribing, and thank you for your time. Goodbye.